your understanding of this and what is the way forward? Comrade President. Well, thank you very much, um, um, Comrade Mahia, and to celebrate and honor our Reverend. Am I allowed to remove my mask? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Mahia, and allow me to honor uh, Dr. Magaya here present, Reverend, and also my comrade, Comrade uh, President Tassa, um, for uh, being here. My sister from Zenasu, uh, Comrade Mzenge from the media uh, platform, and all of you. Uh, first, I want to start by uh, just apologizing for a late start. Um, this was due to the organizers and the challenges that we had uh, around coordination. But uh, thank you for your patience. Um, I don't need to say much. Um, you know that I'm not the one who is supposed to have been here. Um, President Shangra is the one who was supposed to be here because he was the uh, father figure and also the leader of our movement. Uh, but because he's not here, I was also part of that movement. I'm representing him. I'm also representing those ideals that we stood for during that time. Uh, this is a very important platform. You are aware that from a political perspective, we have already, as a party, resolved that we are going to encourage the dissolution and dissolving of individual institutional voices or individual voices and make sure that we magnify and amplify the collective voice of all Zimbabwe. It's no longer time for us to be divided in our little silos. It's now time for us to be united. This is no longer time for partisan politics. This is now time for collective action. And this platform is a citizen action. We are not going to be coming to this platform as politicians. We are coming to this platform as citizens. We are also inviting even Zanupir, because hunger knows no party. This has nothing to do with partisan politics. It has something to do with our collective being and our dignity as a people. So I would encourage Zanupir to also join the convergence of forces. Because if they are a force, they must also be part of this. If they are citizens, they must all be part of this. Because what we are having in this country is a clash between those who have power and those who have none. And citizens have no power. They need to come together and realize their power. So this platform for us is very important. It's a convergence platform, and we're willing to converge. We'll bring our own abilities, our capacities, to support uh, this so that we're able to move forward. Any nation is ultimately determined by what it seeks to achieve. And what we seek to achieve is liberation, democratization, transformation, so that we're able to realize our full potential as a people. So I don't want to say much. I'm here to add the voice, and when I'm here, I'm carrying more than two million voices, not just of voters, but of Zimbabweans who believe and who are clear that what we stand for should be defended in the collective. We amplify and support the voice from ZCTU, the voice from the church, the voice from the students, and I believe that next time you are going to invite more veterans, because they are very important to be part of this. Don't leave them out. We need more veterans to be part of this. We need uh, women, even women organizations, to be part of this. We need everyone to be part of this. Those who are willing to participate in defending our country. I want to thank you. Uh, Comrade Mahia, uh, two questions. First from uh, Nikazino. Uh, that, uh, what is it that is going to be done differently? Is that correct? What is going to be done differently is citizen mobilization. And citizens taking the lead. The greatest mistake any leader can ever make is to assume that the leader is the struggle. And is to assume that the leader is the one who is the alpha and omega of what the people must do. Let us take back the struggle to where it belongs, in the hands of the people. The country we want to see is in our hearts and in our heads. And we can only unleash it for future generations and for ourselves when we begin to all act, not as politicians, not as trade unions, not as churches, but as citizens. So the bottom line is for us to go back to our common denominator, that which unites us, being citizens of Zimbabwe. And we need to be united as citizens 
That's why I said this is not about ZANU, this is not about MDC, this is not about the old, the young, it's about everybody. Because our common destiny is under threat. Our common future has been jeopardized and we need to rescue, to rescue. It. We are a lost nation, we are a broken nation. We need to discover ourselves. And to discover ourselves, we need unity. So that is the different thing that you are going to see. This is no longer about MDC being the big party or ZCT being the bigger brother. This is about all of us being united and having a common platform. And citizens united can never be defeated. No army, no weaponry, no armory can stand when the people say enough is enough. And that is what we are saying now, to draw the line in the sand. No matter the cost, we are determined to move forward. So I hope I've answered you without saying much. This is a convergence of citizens, and we are ready to have that mobilization taking place and that mobilization advanced. The second one, uh, you said unity. You know, I have to disabuse uh, you know, the nation and ourselves of this whole notion that MDC is divided. There's no division. The people are united. We are united. The fact that we have a few individuals who, out of their own cases of convenience, choose to go the other side, does not make us divided. You are talking about names you are mentioning. They have chosen to side with the, those who are oppressing us. It has nothing to do with the unity of our people. Zimbabweans are united, they know what they want. And I told you, don't make the mistake of confusing or conflating MDCT and MDC Alliance. It's like ZANU Ndonga and ZANU PF. They are two separate institutions. We are two separate institutions. Let them, this city, go and contribute to the liberation of Zimbabwe. We are contributing. That is the end of the story. So don't waste time on things that are not really issues. Because the people are united. We in the leadership, in the alliance, are united. And we are uniting with other progressive forces. That is what, it ma what matters. And don't really focus to say, ah, no, these are. This, uh, we are united, and you will see the unit of the people when we start acting. Thank you, Mr. President. So, 